Hello everyone. Today we are going to discuss cubes and properties of cubes. When we multiply a number 3 times by itself, we say that the number has been cubed and the product is called cube of that number or number raised to the power 3. For example, when we say what is cube of 2? We mean number 2 is being multiplied 3 times by itself and the product is 8. That means 2 cube is 8. Similarly, 3 cube is 3 into 3 into 3 is equal to number 27. Perfect cubes. Now what are perfect cubes? Perfect cubes are those numbers which are cubes of natural numbers. For example, we say 27 is a perfect cube of number 3. 64 is a perfect cube of number 4. Properties of cubes. Cubes of all odd numbers are always odd numbers. For example, 5 cube is 125. 3 cube is 27. 7 cube is 343. These are all what? Odd numbers. Cubes of all even natural numbers are always even. For example, 4 cube is 64. 6 cube is 216. Next, we move forward to cubes of negative integers are always negative. For example, if we have cube of minus 3, that means we are multiplying minus 3 3 times. So we are going to get a negative sign along. Now 3 cube is 27. We put forward a negative sign. We get number minus 27. Similarly, if we have to find cube of minus 6, since minus sign is coming 3 times, we write the minus sign before. Now 6 cube is 216, so minus 6 cube is minus 216. Next, the product of the cubes of two numbers is always and always equal to the cube of their products. What do we mean by this property? Let's have a look. 2 ka cube into 3 cube is 2 into 3 whole cube. Now what do we mean by this? 2 cube is number 8. 3 cube is number 27. When we multiply 8 into 27, we get our answer to be 216. Similarly, if we multiply 2 into 3, we get our answer to be 6. Now 6 cube is what? 260. So both ways we are going to get number 216 only. Hence 2 cube into 3 cube can be written into 2 into 3 whole cube. I hope you liked the lesson. See you soon with our next lesson. Thank you.